Hey, okay, welcome everyone to Divided Spectrum. I am Dash Ireland, like always, so let's get into this video. This is a video that I've had to... I've been working on for months on end, figuring when should I do this video, or how am I going to go about this video. But I think recent events has allowed me to finally talk about this video and how it relates to this whole situation. And it's really another one of those things that I really have to get heated about because I don't know why anyone supports this. Now, before we go into it, let's get into the context. As you can see in the photos, you might be able to recognize this as the case doing with James Younger and his father. Uh, James Younger is a seven-year-old kid, and he, he's just a normal boy. And his father took it to the case that he didn't want his son to transition into a girl, doesn't want him to be a transgender, but he lost the case, and after losing the case, basically where he's losing parental rights, because uh, the baby mother is screwed up in the head, like legitimately screwed up in the head, um, he actually shared a video where uh, the kid is like, oh, I'm a girl, and he's like, why, he's like, because mommy said so, if that's not enough to tell you about how this kid is just regurgitating bull crap then I feel sorry for you. I don't know why anyone thinks that a kid could be transgender or anything. It's so stupid. We need to stop pushing uh, sexuality and gender on kids. That is a sex crime in my book. I'm pretty sure if you look into a book of law and you try exposing kids to anything sexual or something like that, I'm pretty sure you're going to have to face criminal charges. Even as minor as they could be. I don't know. I don't know the penalties. I just know that there are certain crimes, and that every crime has a repercussion. And whenever we look at the James Younger case with the mother, it just shows a Munchausen's by proxy. Munchausen's by proxy is when a parent or a caregiver basically um, abuses their kid, or whoever they're taking care of, or they manipulate them to a point so that the person believes that they have this ailment or something so that that parent slash caregiver makes themselves look good. It's a form of mental illness. We've seen this in Law & Order SVU. We've seen this in real life, too. I mean, after all, SVU is based off real life. I'm just an SVU fan. Anyways, and it's just one of those cases where we do have that misandry that's become part of the system, where it's anti-men. And if you're thinking, oh, it's not against men, well, then you're lying to yourself. Why? Why is it that we have this new systematic misandry now? Because we're afraid of being offensive to women. Around. We need to not be misandrist or misogynist. But nowadays, things are becoming more misandrist, and people are like, maybe it's because men's life has not been as hard. Well, now we're making men's lives harder. I mean, look at the, what the Me Too movement did. No one can do shit anymore. And they think, oh, you're a man. You can't focus on... You can't... You don't know what it's like to go through the things we do. Fear of being raped or actually having been raped. Well, actually, I can. I know about that. I've been assaulted myself and whatnot. So you can screw off with that saying. Anyways, why am I saying there's a systematic misandry? It's because we have things like in divorces, women tend to win most of the time. Um, a woman could easily sec accuse a guy of sexual assault and nothing happens. Um, a person can come out and say that a woman raped him and a woman gets off scot-free because like, oh, a woman can't rape a dude. Well, technically that is true. If they don't consent or they don't want it, that's sexual assault, brother. So anyways... This Munchausen's by proxy. We don't see it just with James Younger. We see it with other kinds of kids, like these so-called drag kids, and the Desmond is amazing kid. It's so, it's so mind-boggling. Because you got Desmond, he's a so-called drag kid, and it's even more screwed up with this kid, and he's even more popular and whatnot. And um, with Desmond, he's like some ten-year-old kid who has autism. And I think I've said this before where I said that this is making people with autism look bad. It's trying to think that it's going to push this new stereotype, and I hate it because I have autism myself. 
I don't want people to think that I'm into it. I'm not. I'm totally against that stuff. I don't believe in transgenderism. And the Desmond is a main kid. He's autistic, about 10 years old or something like that. He's a drag kid. He's dancing in bars in front of a bunch of old dudes in a bar. I'm pretty sure that's a sex crime. And whenever people try to report that, they didn't do anything because they're in, they have that politically correct bullshit. And they don't want the pundits and the demagogues coming after them. And while the father says nothing, the mother is the main perpetrator of this. She's like, oh, look at my trans kid. Bull crap. You even seen it at that uh, CNN town hall for LGBT people where that woman had a transgender son. That's your daughter, miss. And while that kid is just like regurgitating something off a freaking index card, the mother is just smiling. That mother is a piece of shit. Whatever happened to a thing called good parents? Because my mother, I'm pretty sure she's seen me and my brothers even spout off any bullshit. She's like, you don't know crap, kid. Because my parents were actually good parents. And I don't even understand how they don't have the Desmond, this amazing kid, have him transferred to good parents and have his parents locked up for being pedophiles, basically. And it's only now... When after so many years, like, trying to get more attention for transgender people and whatnot, that you're starting to see new people, like, part of the trans movement, or, like, people who are so-called transgender, or people who have transgender kids, that they are pedophiles, or some kind of sex criminal. I mean, just look at the Jessica Yaniv situation. Jessica Jonathan Yaniv, you've heard my video on this, and he's a pedophile. He's had... They even seized a bunch of child pornography tapes from his house. He's even made a lot of very shady posts. And it's surprising that they don't arrest him for it. They arrested him for doxing and shit, but not for him being a criminal, a predator. But why doesn't anyone do anything about it? Oh, wait, it's Canada. You might be wondering, how could be talking about this, like, if it's to Canada, but it's just one of those things because Canada is a little too tolerant. And they're okay with this drag kid bullshit. They're okay with the trans kid stuff. Yet they don't realize kids don't know shit. That's a fact. That's why we put them in schools to be learning because they don't know anything. They can't think for themselves until a certain age because of uh, Piaget's stages of development. And morality. Why do people find it okay? It's just so wrong. Kids don't know shit. Like a kid saying, oh, I'm transgender, I want to be a boy or a girl. No, you're not. Whatever you're born with down there, that's you for the rest of your life. Um, where's I going with this? <laughs> um, or take for example my niece. We were having my church's VBS over the summer, and at the end of the day, we would show a slideshow of pictures. And whenever my niece would see a picture that she would cringe at or didn't like, she's like, ugh, I'm going to kill myself. And we're all like, no, you're not. Because no kid who says that they're going to kill themselves is really going to kill himself. That's not unless they're, like, seriously abused or anything. Because, I mean, there have been unfortunate cases where there's 11-year-olds who commit suicide. Why not? They think that the people, the kids that are under 18, think that if they transition, that they're going to somehow improve the suicide rate. It's not. It just barely does it. It doesn't help anything to transition. We're seeing massive amounts of people recently that are detransitioning because they regret it. That That's real. Um... Getting to the pausing stages of my video. <laughs> uh, Got a thing. I'm a little bit slow. Anyways. It doesn't really help. And people are like, oh, gender is a social construct. Okay, if it's a social construct, why does a person have to physically alter and mutilate their bodies and use 
hormones to mimic the gender that they want to be. That seems like it's more biologic than it is social. And there is also a thing that some of the authors who founded postmodern gender ideology were pedophiles. Like, they showed some kind of weird interest in children. And to me, that's something shady as hell. Now, the thing is, if you're an adult and you want to be transgender, go do that. I don't care. Be you. But don't push this on the kids. Because kids just want to be kids. They don't care about all this stuff that we have to put up with in the world. They just want to be kids and enjoy their time. Don't push your politics on them. That is the wrong thing to do. It, it's indoctrination. It's a bit criminal, really. And you have to think about the repercussions. There are many repercussions. You raise a kid to be trans, they're going to be so screwed up in the head. Oh, now I remember what I was going to say. Like, hell, like, this is child abuse and sex crime. Like, look at the, the, the Jasmine deal or whatever. Like, that show called I Am Jazz about a kid who is a trans woman. That is, uh, that's sex crime. Because that was basically perpetrated by the parents. And that kid is on purity blockers and shit. That kid's probably going to have a rough time in life in the future, unfortunately. It's a very sad and unfortunate thing. That's a repercussion of pushing this all on children and whatnot. And they're going to have mutilated bodies that are so altered and messed up that they're not going to be able to function right in different senses, like their sexual capabilities and whatnot. It's just going to be all messed up. This is science. And the thing is, you might think, why aren't you a science center? I'm not. I'm for science. And we're like altering science to fit things, and that shouldn't be how it is. Science is subjective. Well, it's more objective. It says one thing and one thing only, and you can't change that. Sure, climate change is a thing, but we're not going to be able to change that because... Studies have shown that there's not really any correlation to prove that climate change today is man-made. And the thing is, facts don't care about your feelings. It's a fact that gender is biologic. And in the end, it's never going to be social. It, it, to try and change it proves a lot of problems. It's like trying to play God. And as I always say, you try to play God, you're going to get burned. In the words of Ben Shapiro, why are we mainstreaming delusion? And that's a video from long ago when there was that whole Bruce Jenner debate. Like, why are we mainstreaming delusion? Why are we mainstreaming these so-called parental heroes who push transgender ideology on kids? We're mainstreaming that delusion, and it's wrong. There's no transparency to transgender parents. They show an ulterior motive to try and advance their political agenda, or that they're just so mentally ill that they try to do something to their kids. Transparents are not transparent. I think you get the gist.